Today on Decentralized Chain, we're diving into the most exciting deep in projects in crypto that you need to watch this year. These projects are not just innovative, they're reshaping how we interact with technology and the physical world. Hello everyone, welcome back to Decentralized Chain. It's me, Feroz, and if you're passionate about blockchain technology and its potential to transform our world, you've come to the right place. Now today, we're diving into something truly exciting, deep in or decentralized physical infrastructure networks. Now, before we get started, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and ring the bell to stay updated on all things blockchain. Let's delve into what DPIN is and why it really matters. Now, in simple terms, DPIN are networks that use blockchain to operate real world infrastructure from telecoms to storage. Unlike traditional centralized systems, DPINs are democratic, efficient, and scalable. Imagine a world where you're not just a user, but a contributor to the infrastructure you rely on daily. And the potential of DPIN is massive. It could potentially completely change our interaction with physical infrastructure. How? By using tokens as incentives for participation, much like Bitcoin mining, but with a twist. The more a network is used and grows, the more valuable its token becomes. It's a self-feeding cycle of growth and value. Let's talk about some examples. Helium is an exceptional deep in project, leveraging the Solana-based mobile networking framework. By operating hotspots, contributors enable internet connectivity without traditional cell towers or Wi-Fi. So usage of this network is compensated with HT tokens, which are also rewarded to hotspot operators. So Helium is not just about connectivity, it's a new horizon in mobile networking with plans like their cheap $20 a month 5G phone network across the United States. Now let's look at Filecoin, a network built on the interplanetary file system standard. It incentivizes people with extra hard drive storage to archive information in a decentralized manner. Those needing data storage pay, bill to storage providers who then spread the data worldwide. This setup ensures billions of gigabytes of data are stored securely and free from centralization risks like censorship and hacks. But there's more. Hive Mapper Network, a blockchain based mapping network, rewards contributors who use dashcam footage to build a detailed and up to date global map. Now, this decentralized approach offers a dynamic and ever evolving mapping solution. And similarly, the Render Network is transforming 3D rendering and graphics computation. It connects artists and creators with GPU providers, offering a scalable and cost-effective rendering solution and potentially revolutionizing industries from animation to AI. Now, most of these deep in protocols are built on Solana, known for its fast speeds and low transaction fees, ideal for managing the extensive data and interactions within these networks. Decentralized physical infrastructure networks are more than just a technological innovation. They're about building a collaborative and democratic future. Imagine being part of something that's bigger than just you or me, and that's what Deepin offers. It's not just about technology, it's about creating a collaborative, efficient, and democratic world. And while we're yet to see a globally adopted Deepin protocol, the excitement and potential in this space are undeniable. This isn't just a story about technology, it's about us, our community, and our future. So in conclusion, Deepin represents a bold step forward in blockchain applications, from Helium's mobile networks to Filecoin's data storage solutions, the possibilities are endless. And while still in its infancy, the potential for Deepin to integrate into our daily lives is something we can't ignore. It's an exciting time to be part of the blockchain community, and I can't wait to see where Deepin takes us. But before you go, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Share your thoughts on Dimpin. What projects are you also currently looking at? What did we miss? Do you think it's the future of blockchain? Let's discuss, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.